So previously, we went through the ultimate achievement for Najatar, which rewarded you with the most coveted mount of BFA, the Crab Mount. But 8.2 doesn't stop there with the meta achievements, as Mechagon as an equivalent, the Mecha Dun, rewarding you with the keys to the Model W, the pristine mount variant of the Rust Feather Rare. Now, contrary to the Najatar achievement, which is time gated to 13 weeks, Mecha Dun isn't as brutal, but will still require some grinds and some time invested into it. So let's go over all of that, starting with the Mechagonian threat. Pretty easy and straightforward one, to complete the storyline which is unlocked daily, with the last quest being to complete the Operation Mechagon Mega Dungeon. So you most likely have this by now. Outside Influences is pretty similar to that, essentially to complete the various dailies in Mechagon that go on a rotation. Now there is a catch, which is with a quest that starts with Clues Abound, which branches out to separate quest lines. This is the daily where you get followed by the little Morlock, I'm sure you know it. And when you go searching for clues, if you get the old parchment, it will lead to an historical mess. If you get an ancient runestone, it leads to a growing mystery. And while you do this one, if you kill a toxic lurker instead of just the regular latchlings, you will also receive a starting quest item that will lead to the strange discovery quest. The Hearthstone card leads to Time for Heroics, and similar to a growing mystery while on this quest, if you kill congealed oil mobs, it will also grant you Pirates, I hate those guys quest. Uh, this pretty much will be the most annoying achieve to get, as it will be the most time gated, as you will have to fight against the daily rotation of the quests and be lucky to get the one that you need, and etc. Junkyard Apprentice will be to craft a whopping 250 items on Pascal, it it might seem daunting, but if you're not in a rush as you play the zone, we'll eventually get it. But if you do want to quickly get this achievement, the easiest way to achieve it will be to craft the cans and minnows. This blueprint you will get from the Deepwater Maw, the rare which you can spawn after doing the Gnome Hangler questline north of Mecha. And with this blueprint, you can craft the item rather easily with just spare parts and ionized minnows. Uh, these ones you can easily fish with the Vacuum. You can get the vacuum just by talking to the gnome angler again, and then you will need this amount of spare parts and menos if you're starting from scratch, or just reduce that number to whichever tinkering items that you need. By the way, spare crates do not count towards the achievements for obvious reasons. Making the mount is also pretty easy, as it's part of a daily type quest in Mecha, so it is time-gated in a way. Now, to get it, you need to go to the trash grind area of Mecha, the Junk Watts Depot, and here, if it's raining, there will be corroded mobs. And when killing these corroded mobs with the rain, will grant you the Recycled Parts quest, which, after doing it once, will turn into an extra repeatable daily that you can do, and when opening the box for the first time, the quest line for or making the mount will begin, which will last for around 12 days. The last quest being to create the mount, requiring 8 spare crates, 5 energy cells and 8 chain igniter coils, so make sure to have that and the mount and the achievement will be yours. Available in 8 colors is to get all the different colors for your Mecha Cats mount that you can build from day 1 with Pascal, and they will come from mostly rares or the recycling requisition daily box. Some of them can even drop from multiple rares, so check on the screen all the different sources and good luck. Rest in Pistons, like Najatar, is to kill all rares. Now, most of these are just normal rares around the zone, however, a lot of these are bound to what's happening in Mechagon during a specific day. So, for an example, a Spark Queen Pimp P -imp, will spawn when bugs, lots of them, daily is up. Others will be spawned by the Drill Rigs, which are also bound to the rotation the zone has daily. So, just get the add-on and denotes Mechagon and Najatar, and it will tell you everything every single location of each rare and what you need to spawn them. Then we have Junkyard Architect, pretty lengthy one as you have to acquire every single blueprint in a game, and most of these you're gonna get from doing the quest lines in Mecha, from doing the dailies, from doing the rares, from the rep vendor, others are just lucky drops from the rares, the recycled parts quest, or the reclamation rig chest, or the paragon box, 
and etc. So in time, if you don't want to focus too hard on it, you will get them all. But like before, check the screen for the most difficult or more time-consuming blueprints and their locations so you can target them better. Junkyard the Mechanist is to simply complete 100 construction projects around Mecha. Much like the dailies, the projects go on a rotation and are random daily. So sometimes it's the rig and the cell charger, other times it's turrets and the armory, the drill rigs, or on special days, every single project will be up. Now, the easiest way to go about this is to hunt for every single project and making sure you have the mats available and build them, especially on the days where every project is up. So pretty much much for headed. However, easiest one to do is the turrets, as only costs 100 spare parts, so I would advise to build every single turret you see, and in time you will get this. Junkyard's Melomaniac is in the same vein as available in 8 Colors achievements, although now is for songs, but to get them you need the gramophone first, which comes from a blueprint dropped from the Siren Rare Still Singer Frieza. Once you get it, you will unlock the gramophone, then you will need the vinyl or the songs for the achievement. Now the vinyl or the song drops are from what you would expect, rares, recycled parts boxes, so pretty much hunt rares and pray for drops. Uh, only one to keep in mind is a Triumph of Nobregon. These come from the irradiated box of assorted parts, which is from the Reclamation Rig scenario, but specifically from the Hard Mode variant, which you can trigger by using the Super Collider Special Weapon, which itself comes from the Project Armory, or from the daily, where you have to mix the various materials, giving you a weapon at the end. And the fourth weapon that you build, so the fourth time you will do the daily, will be the Super Collider. Now you want to use this weapon on the mobs from the rig scenario, which then they will turn to irradiated mobs, triggering the hard mode and giving you a chance at the vinyl in the box at the end of the set scenario. And speaking of which, harmed for action. The last achievement is part of that daily that you need to build weapons, so it's time-gated as you will need to do it five times for five weapons, and you are bound by the rotation that the zone has. But yeah, keep a lookout for the set daily and you will eventually get it. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. As a last note, I do recommend for you to check Wowhead daily. They post every day everything of note that is happening in Mecha and Najatar, such as what type of dailies and projects are up, uh, which will make it much easier for you to know what will be your goal for the day, will the rare that you need be up, or the project that you need, and etc. Another advice or something for you to know as well for the completion of this achievement is to make sure you do the alternate Mecha, the alternate time Line mecha, as you will need it for not only the rares, but other items such as blue brands. You can only get there whenever the chromy daily is up. However, once there, the mobs will have a chance to drop a blueprint that will allow you to teleport back there with an item that you can craft at Pascal. If you go there every day after that, there will be three extra dailies for you to do, so it's extra rep and spare parts. Plus, you need this for the blueprints, for the achievements anyway, and some of the achievements also requires you to get items from the Paragon box, so you will need a lot of reputation. So yeah guys, that does it for this achievement. Much shorter in my opinion, and much easier than Najatar, so get on Mecha and happy hunting. As always, thank you for watching, remember to like it if you did, and subscribe to get more videos like this. And see ya!